In this action shooter, you control squid-like inklings who can transform into humanoids. So far, we've introduced a four-on-four -four online ink battle mode called Turf Wars, and a single-player campaign called Octovalley, where you set off on your own to take down the inklings' natural-born enemies, the Octopus Army. But today, we'll show you two more modes. The first is an online mode called Ranked Battle. Just like in Turf Wars, you'll team up with three other players to battle it out in four-on-four -four matches. However, this mode includes a ranking system. Ranked Battle has several rules that differ from Turf Wars. In one mode, called Splat Zones, players battle over a specific area within a given stage, so you can expect some fierce battles between two teams to go down here. Polish your skills against the Octarian Menace in single player, hit up Turf Wars for a casual multiplayer matchup, and then up the intensity in Ranked Battle, where you'll find the most serious competition. Another mode included in the game is called the Battle Dojo. Here you can enjoy local one-on-one -on -one battles with friends. In this mode, one player uses the gamepad as a screen while the other plays on the TV screen, each one competing to see who can pop the highest number of balloons in a given stage. You can play this mode on the same stages as in Turf Wars, so just like in a real dojo, you can practice your moves and learn the layout and locations of obstacles to up your game in Turf Wars. We have one more Splatoon announcement today. We've decided to release Inkling Amiibo right alongside the game's launch. 
When you touch an Inkling Amiibo to the gamepad, you'll receive missions based on the Amiibo you tap in. By completing these missions, you can acquire special weapons and gear that you can only get from these compatible Amiibo. The Splatoon series of Amiibo will be available in a single pack including an Inkling Girl, an Inkling Boy, and an Inkling Squid on May 29th when Splatoon launches. Or you can buy the Inkling Girl or the Inkling Boy individually the same day.
Are your regulatory systems functioning? On behalf of the Squid Research Lab, I certainly hope so, because the findings we're about to present may be startling. Oh, <coughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, you may be wondering about the Squid Research Lab. Well, we research squids in a lab and other things too, like that strange video. Perhaps what you saw seemed a bit unusual, but research indicates that freelance power egg collection is becoming quite popular among inklings in a new mode called Salmon Run. Luckily, one of our fearless researchers went on location and captured this curious activity live on camera. Now, we share our findings with the world. For the first time on film, we can see this remote location, separated from Inkopolis, on the other side of the ocean. This derelict man-made island is a hotspot for freelance power egg collectors. Amazing! Inklings super jumping to the island! We've concluded that four Inklings make a team, just like in Turf War. And what are they wearing? The implications! It looks like some kind of special gear provided just for this task. Huh. And it appears they're given weaponry, too. It's a power egg collector's job to defeat creatures of the salmonid genus who habitually attack for some unknown reason. And it's not just one wave, which is a plus when you're collecting power eggs. As you can see, they can be acquired from debilitated salmonid. It may sound easy, but in, what's this? Some sort of salmonid, to tell the truth, it's unlike anything we've ever seen. Just wait till I tell my boss. Oh, that's it! It's a special kind of boss salmonid that inklings are paid a bounty to hunt. I'm afraid our brave squid friends are no match for this beast. At least, not with their current strategy. Oh, one of the inklings is down! And another! Yet somehow, the incapacitated inkling has deployed a lifesaver to call for help. Oh, I see. When a fallen freelancer gets inked by an ally, that inkling can be resuscitated. Freelancing does have its benefits. Communication is key because inklings that work together win together. Unless they don't. What an honor it is to witness this incredible struggle. How odd. These eggs have a rare appearance, even among power eggs. Could they be golden eggs? And now it looks like the inklings are transporting these golden eggs to a containment unit in the center of the site. Aha! Could it be that this is the freelancer's ultimate objective? To harvest these golden eggs and haul them to Inkopolis? Indeed, after many trials and tribulations, the Inklings have collected their golden egg prize and fulfilled their corporate agenda. What we witnessed here is the harsh reality of one suspicious part-time job. Why would such a dismal occupation be so popular among Inklings? Well, it might be due to the rewards. I've heard they're quite, um, fresh, is it? More research may be required. What a day for science. If we compile any new information, you will be the first to know. We're planning to release a research report on the ongoing battle with Octarians, so stay tuned and stay fresh. <laughs> that reminds me, we have one last report for you. It's a scientific fact that new Splatoon 2 series Amiibo will be released. There are three new figures. Inkling Girl, Inkling Boy, and Inkling Squid. When you tap these Amiibo, the figure character will appear in-game and befriend you. Befriend an Amiibo character and they'll remember your favorite outfits, weapons, gear, and option settings. Tap your Amiibo on the customization menu screen and you can swap your outfit with the Amiibo figure's outfit. I'd imagine it comes in handy when waging turf wars at a friend's house. To conduct your own research, try snapping a photo with your Amiibo friend. That way you can both wear your favorite outfits. Then you can share your photos with human friends on social media via the Nintendo Switch album. Sometimes your Amiibo friend may give you special gear as a gift.
The game is compatible with previously released Splatoon Amiibo figures as well. Well, fellow researchers, today's presentation is over. We look forward to sharing more research in the future. Thanks for... Oh, forgive my apparent short-term memory loss. I have one last fact for you. Splatoon 2 launches July 21st. And the new Amiibo release that same day. That's all for today's report. Squid Research Lab, signing off.
Inkopolis News Bulletin. It's update time. This April, Splatoon 2 is getting an update. Version 3.0 is coming. Here's a brief and briny taste of what's to come. 100 new pieces of gear. That means fresh looks just in time for spring. Plus, more stages. Piranha Pit. Camp Triggerfish. And the hottest date spot for the hippest Inklings. Wahoo World. And what? Rank X is here. Rank X is an extreme rank. Even higher than S+. More details are coming soon. Once you meet certain conditions, Cali will appear in Octo Canyon. The world of Splatoon 2 continues to evolve, so don't miss out. Now, a word from the Squid Research Lab. Check out their latest video. Hello, Squid Research Lab here. So, how was it? You just got a sneak peek at the first paid downloadable content for Splatoon 2, the hefty new single-player mode, Octo Expansion. You'll play as the new character, Agent 8, who looks like an Octoling. She wakes up on the platform of a dark subway station without her memories. Looks like some kind of shady underground test facility. In this massive subterranean world, there are 80 of these test facilities connected by a subway. You'll depart from the station with purpose. A variety of missions await Agent 8 and her talents. Expect new stories to unfold, shedding new light on beloved characters. You may think you know everything about the world of Splatoon, but these waters run deep, and so does the lore. Escape from these twisted depths, and you'll be able to join multiplayer matches as an Octoling. We hope you enjoy this fresh perspective. Since Octa means eight in Latin, that means 2018 is the year of the Octoling. 
Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will launch this summer. After today's Nintendo Direct, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will be available for advanced purchase in Nintendo eShop. With this purchase, Splatoon 2 owners will immediately receive Octo-themed in-game gear to use in battle today.
The first post-launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. Here's the theme. What would you bring to a deserted island? Gear, grub, or fun? So many incredible possibilities. Which team will you join? And more free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. Amiibo! We've got a fresh update on Amiibo figures. By tapping Splatoon series Amiibo, characters will appear in the Splatoon 3 game to lend a helping hand or a helping tentacle. Splatoon series Amiibo allows you to save your favorite gear, settings, camera controls, and freshest fits. Tap compatible Amiibo when you're in the equip menu and you'll bring up the stored data lickety splat. Why not take in-game photos with Amiibo characters? Strike a pose with emotes and snap away! Say, Squid! You can use these photos to decorate your locker. Woo! Or post them to your social media accounts through the share feature on your Nintendo Switch system. And we're still researching this. But there might be in-game gifts containing special gear from compatible Amiibo! Amiibo! Booyah! <laughs>
Introducing the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass. This paid DLC includes two waves of content. The first wave is Inkopolis. Make this splat-tastic place from the original Splatoon game your stomping grounds. This is Booyah Base. It's got some pretty nifty weapons and gear. You might spot a few familiar faces alongside new shopkeepers. Products here are the same as the ones in Splatsville, so shop wherever your vibes are strongest. Salmon Run, Table Turf Battle, The Show, and Amiibo functionality all work in the same way here too. The Squid Sisters will also perform here during Splatfests. Need a mix of old school and freshness? Then head over to Inkopolis. The first wave of this paid DLC launches this spring. Oh, what's this? Wave 1, Inkopolis, launches this spring. Wave 2, Side Order, will launch in the future. The Splatoon 3 Expansion Packs will be available later today on Nintendo eShop.
This black vest is going to be pretty sweet. The next Splatfest for the Splatoon 3 game has been confirmed. Okay, squids, here's the theme. Which flavor of ice cream is best? Vanilla, strawberry, or mint chip? This Splatfest will be held during the dates shown on screen. Ooh, these choices are delicious. Guide your favorite flavor to victory. Plus, get splatting in themed battles with challenges. More splattastic events are on the way. Be on the lookout for more info in the future.
Welcome to Inkopolis Square. This once thriving district now lies abandoned and has been drained of color. After awakening in this world of order, an Octoling, Agent 8, along with Pearl, one half of the musical duo Off the Hook, who is now a drone, must ascend the spire of order together. This single player experience is designed to be replayed over and over again. There are three things to keep in mind. Floor selection, color chip enhancement, and objective completion. You'll need to repeat this cycle in order to gain more knowledge and reach the top of the spire. This elevator is the only way to ascend the spire. However, you can only go up one floor at a time. On each floor, select one of three different objectives to complete. Each objective's difficulty and clear conditions will vary, so choose wisely. Conditions include destroying the portals from which hordes of enemies appear, chasing and defeating enemies, guiding a ball, and more. Once you've made your selection, you will receive color chips. Place them on your palette for enhancements like increasing your firing speed or raising your damage output. Over 60 types of color chips can be unlocked. Use different combinations to customize your palette to your liking. For example, you can adjust the features of your main weapon. Activate your special weapon in rapid succession. Or widen the explosive range of your bombs. You can also upgrade the Pearl Drone who can support you in combat. So even if your current loadout isn't quite fitting, you may continue to make progress. As you ascend the spire, more difficult objectives and enemies will attempt to block your path. Fail to reach the top, and you'll be forced to start over from the very beginning, regardless of your current floor. Additionally, you will forfeit all color chips obtained. However, they will be converted into a currency known as pearls. Use pearls to acquire permanent upgrades before your next run, such as having more lives, reducing damage received, and improving your base abilities to give you a fighting chance in completing objectives. Floor selection, color chip enhancement, objective completion. Repeat this cycle and conquer the spire. In this colorless world and the spire of order, you must contend with many trials and terrors. And at journey's end, what awaits you at the top? Side order, wave two of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass paid DLC for the Splatoon 3 game launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 22nd. The Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass is available now on Nintendo eShop.
アミーボ。